What's going on guys? This is Wills again with another unboxing and review. Today we have a pair of Adidas Yeezy 380 Alien is what they're calling them. This particular pair is from BST brand Sneaker Twins. Um, so we're going to check out some of the quality of it. We're going to do some on feet and then I'll do like a general thoughts wrap up towards the end. So this is pretty much the sneaker. Again, Adidas is calling it the Alien, and it's a little obvious why you're calling it the Alien because as you can see there, the pattern is a lot different from the 350s or 350v2s. Um, the shoe has an, a different heel as well than what I'm used to wearing in the 350 or 350v2 or even a 700. You're a little bit more elevated and the cut is a little higher. BST, the company these came from they make one of ones which are supposed to be 100 percent um one of one model to the original model and they also do uas which are called unauthorized authentics which means these are shoes that came right out of the original factories that may be overstock and they're sold off to different companies and then different companies are reselling them the Overstock is basically the just-in-case type of pairs to replace any of the rejected pairs after they've failed to pass, like, quality inspections. So there's pretty much backups for the ones that are have little flaws that will fail, and the ones that do fail also get sold off to different companies as well. So just trying to give you guys a better understanding of the whole one-of-one -one UA type of deal because people just assume they're just fake when they actually indeed come from the factories. But anyway, so... This shoe was supposed to be the Yeezy Boost 350 V3, but they switched it up at the end, calling it the Alien. Um, it's got a prime knit that they've supposedly never before used on the upper, and it lacks the traditional lateral side strip. Uh, it's got an upgraded thicker boost midsole and engineered outsole grip. They released in November this year, and they've retailed for $230 right now in stock X. They're being sold from anywhere to 400 to 470. So there's there's a pretty good high resale demand on them. It's a new Yeezy model, so you know people go a little crazy for that. But let's get into some of the details here. Here's the tag. I am not 100% sure what the original tag is supposed to look like. So as you can tell right here, they are similar to the previous models, but the sole is indeed a lot higher and it will elevate you off the ground. So if you lean back in these, they feel exactly how they look. Um, I'm not sure what that orange tag is on there. It says like Stoss on it. I'm not sure if that's the BST's quality check, but I clipped it off before I put them on my feet. I, I don't know what they were doing with that. But looking at the bottom, there's an Adidas logo right there in the heel. These are kind of hard to show you because of the lighting. It's a really clearish, bright sole. Um, but you can see there's the uh, more modern Adidas logo. The bottoms there are a lot more aggressive, and they go into that alien vibe again. But from trying them on, they seem to have a lot more traction than the previous model. So I wouldn't recommend these as a runner, but I do like the grippiness of the bottom. Putting them on, I did notice that it was a little bit harder to get them on compared to the normal 350 V2. So if you're wearing a thicker sock, it's going to be a lot more challenging. The ankle area is very snug, but I guess that goes along with the design of the shoe. The back of the heel seems to be up for debate when it comes to comparing these from the videos that I saw. As I'm making this video now, there's not a th lot of 380s out there, a lot of 380 reviews. So this back pattern and that line going all the way down the heel, that is part of speculation to determine real from fake, from UA to authentic. So I'm giving you a good look now. So when more videos come out in the future, you can look at this back heel and compare it. Um, so there's supposed to be a line that goes completely down from the seam all the way to the bottom. The laces are the perfect length. They're not too long, they're not too short. And I would say from wearing them for a couple of days, they are true to size. This is a men's size 10 and they fit perfectly. 
a quick look at the tag on the inside. Again, not sure how that compares to the quote unquote authentic, but just want to give you a quick peek of it. The insole, it just says Yeezy on it this time. I've compared that with the originals. Here's a little designs. I know some people like to match this up with the insoles of a uh, quote unquote authentic. Just a little closer and on the hill it has the modern Adidas symbol on it. I personally think the shoes are cool. I've been waiting for another boost type of Yeezy. So let's do some on feet. I would say these are indeed more comfortable than the, than the V2s. Um, I, I personally love how they felt. Again, if you lean back in these shoes, you can definitely feel the heel counter. You can actually rock in them. It's a, it's a little weird. It's a little different. It's a little something to get used to. I, these will probably be a little hard to style for some people. Um, these definitely probably will not go with baggy pants. But... If you stick with joggered or something tapered, you'll be just fine. But I do believe that they'll be a little harder to style. Um, maybe not so much with a jean. Um, here I'm pretty much wearing sweatpants. A little later I'll show you another perspective, like in the daytime, what they would look like. Um, but just trying to give you guys a good idea of how they would look on feet moving around. They're extremely comfortable. Like this is definitely my favorite new pair of boost easies this year hands down so if i were you i would head down to bst site and secure a pair they have a ton of different coupon codes so go check them out um this video is not promoted it's not uh endorsed or anything like that this is strictly for educational purposes just trying to get an idea of how good the quality of the uas are going around the market now um, I have a great interest for them, and I think that you guys benefit from that so you don't have to spend a bunch of money on shoes that you're a little unsure about and you're kind of caught between not being able to get the originals on like Adidas or Yeezy Supply or something. These are alternative outlets that you can get. I mean, again, nine times out of ten, people on the streets, they're just not going to know. They're just not going to know. They might see something and be like, hey, those are fake, but who is the type of person that looks for people's shoes to be fake? I mean, I've, I've been guilty of it, but hey, I mean, I kind of do this. But anyway, taking a look here, these are daytime shots. I just wanted to give you guys another perspective other than the night footage. Um, I know people are going to be wearing these at night as well, in stores, outside, so I try to give you an all-around perspective um, and the viewpoint of what these look like on feet. These shoes obviously look different depending on what lighting you're in, um, obviously what camera I'm shooting with, but they're typically white, grayish, and green on the box. It says three colorways, which is alien, alien, and alien. Um, every time these shoes come out, they pretty much disappear, so I would suggest stopping again to BST and securing you a pair. I'm not sure the next time Adidas is going to officially release these, but again, they're highly sought after. They're on StockX for 450 plus. Um, so if you're not trying to break the bank and you really want the shoes, check out some alternative sources. I mean, they're just shoes in the end. Um, but that's pretty much it for today's video. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty more sneak reviews coming up. 2020 is going to be a good one. So I've also got some other reviews you guys should go ahead and check out as well. They're pretty detailed. They give you on-foots, reviews, things of that nature. So I appreciate you tuning in. Peace.